Okay, so I figured I'd do a quick review on this uh, cable. Usually, you see these uh, cables for a lot more expensive in cost. And uh, one thing to note, I know other reviewers have noted this, is that these screws may not lock into place. And you might want to check your packaging. Don't we'll just open it up and throw out your plastic because one of my screws actually ended up inside of there. It came in an ample enough uh, padding protector as far as shipping goes. If your screw does come out, of course, it's easy to put back in. In fact, you know what? Mine, as long as it's screwed in, does seem to stay in because it does thread on the opposite side. Now I don't have more than one device to actually daisy chain in the Visa connection, but what I do have is uh, these older meters, these older bench meters are, are very long in length and for me to hook up the Agilent adapter here means basically pulling my meter about another four or five inches away from the wall sticking it out further than any other equipment I have on my shelf. Um, what I'm hoping to do is actually just use this as cable. This should enable me not to have to pull my equipment out from the wall or push it out from the, off the shelf any further than where it currently sits. And then of course in the future this also gives me the ability to add another piece of equipment to my bench. It does have male and female on opposite sides which is good because I know there's two cables out there, one for about $26, one for about $20, and neither one of them actually mention whether or not they show pictures of one side, but they don't show pictures of the other side, so you do actually have opposite connectors here, male and female pass-throughs. cable is definitely thick and well shielded. As a matter of fact, I actually have some writing on the cable here. Let's go ahead and see what that says. It is marked as 80 degrees Celsius, 300 volt compliant IEE 488, 26 gauge. It looks like this is well built, well designed, nice hard metal. Let's see if this is some sort of aluminum. Yeah, some sort of uh, some sort of composite. Um, non-magnetic. The only thing that that the magnet is being attracted to actually is the the screws and of course these that 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 actually uh, thread into your meter. So that's good. That that's actually steel. It's got a really strong magnetism there. Uh, the rest of it seems to be maybe some sort of aluminum compound die cast type of material. So we have some nice uh, some nice copper shielding, some good clamping going around here. There's definitely a good clamping mechanism built in. There's some teeth that actually dig into the shielding of the cable itself. So with these teeth, the cable's not going to mistakenly pull and add tension to any of these smaller gauged wires in here that are actually connecting to the adapter, which is nice. Um, seems to snap in there. There we go. So we got nice copper contacts. Um, not gold plated, but you don't need gold plated, but the copper you definitely do need. Looks like a double sided adapter that's actually clamped together and actually uh, threads onto the wire kind of like the parallel and serial adapters do as well. Uh, do I have one bodge here? No, it's not a it's not a bodge. I'm not sure I can call that a bodge. That may actually be design. If you take a closer look here, there's one wire here that seems to be soldered. And it's actually soldered to the shielding, the outside shielding of the actual cable. Then what they do is they peel back the shielding of the cable and actually use a piece of copper taping around here 
to keep the shielding down so the threads don't come up and inadvertently make a short or a contact where they shouldn't be. Um, and if I look at the color that this wire is actually soldered to for the shielding, this is actually the ground wire. So it's not a bodge, it's actually done well. It's, an, it's a nice, uh, nice solder job. Um, no tension will be put on it, as I said, because it has these clamps in the casing. And these clamps have some really sharp teeth and they actually dig into the shielding of the cable. So everything's held in place really well. Okay. So, it looks like this is, a, this is a nice quality cable for the price, considering that these usually go for, well, anywhere from 40 to 60, sometimes more. Um, they're not cheap, and of course I ordered the cheaper alternative expecting a cheaper quality, and I actually got a really nice cable here, so no complaints at all. The, the, the cable is actually screwed in to the back of the meter here now and there is no additional length that my my meter is sticking out from where it was before it is the exact length that it was before so I'm very happy with that actually the cables back together you can see the difference in the length here is is, is much better I mean right before this flushed up was pushing it four inches from the wall. Um, now, once it's plugged in, maybe an inch. For those in the metric side of things, you're talking um, three and two and a half centimeters, two and three quarter centimeters, uh, whereas before it would probably force it a good uh, nine and a half to 10 centimeters from the wall. Much more better quality than I expected for, for, for choosing the cheap adapter. There's two cheap ones out there. There was one for 20, one for 26 versus the 40, 60, 70 dollar cables. And the 26 one, of course, um, versus the 20, the 26 was a two meter cable. I think this was versus, um, versus a one meter cable. So this is actually twice the length. So the extra $6 does get you extra cabling uh the 26 gauge cable here so it's not like you're paying extra for nothing and and it uh it, it came to be a very very nice cable why will, will i need an actual full two meters on my bench setup i don't know this is the one that's going to be just used as an extension so maybe it, it will come in use maybe it won't maybe 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 i won't have a need for for that that extra length but um, this way I can have the GPIB adapter up on my desk and I can actually see the access lights blink and, and the ready and the fail so I know that, that things are communicating properly and easier for me to troubleshoot than have to uh, reach behind my meter and pull the meter out from the wall and everything and look at it again. So it uh, will definitely make things easier troubleshooting wise if there's any problems with the software installation or, or anything. And once it's completely set in, there's a little bit of pull on it, but that's because this is, is like I said, the, the threads do catch it here at the top. So it does have a little bit of give there. Shouldn't be an issue, should still have full contact, but if you do have air, if you're using it as an extension like I am, just go ahead and push it in and then maybe find a couple of nuts that may actually fit here on this threaded side to keep these screws tight because you're actually screwing your adapter into the screws of the cable. So I'm sure that I have some nuts laying around here that will fit this thread if it becomes an issue. But because this is, this is I don't expect the cable to be pulled on or anything much, I, I shouldn't foresee, I, I don't foresee an issue here actually.